Big Game's FTW. Uh, hi. Welcome to part three. Of Dark Souls. <laughs> I start every part like that. Because it's the fancy voice. Oh, uh, okay. And Marcelo's going to die. Again. You actually yeah. sound, speaking of medieval stuff and that voice, you actually sound like this one character. I really want to get you into playing medieval on the PS1. Have you heard of that? Yeah, no, I've actually heard of that. Have you played it? No. Oh, <laughs> he knocked me off the edge. Where the fuck? No, you knocked yourself no. off the edge again. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, you bitch, hi. What the fuck? I can't even see. Come on now. Let's be fair well, to a certain extent. Well, you are, you are next to the wall. As I was saying, have you played medieval? I have not played Medieval. I've heard a lot of I nice have, things oh, about it. Oh, I have it. it on here. We should actually do a playthrough of it. Well, oh, yeah, we should. At some point. It's it's kind of like, um... You might want to heal up. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a really fun game. Oh, uh, he's just... Hey, he didn't just straight up attack you this time. You just kind of take control... Oh, well, that guy did. God, yeah, just go crazy, why don't you? It's fine. It's not like I'm, you know... That's uh, four arrows in me. Or three, I don't know how many. Well, There's these four. are pretty much, like, the easiest enemies you can kill off in this game. Mm, okay. Oh, you can pillage his body. Now you have another short bow. You might want to heal up again. You mm. don't have to fight that guy. That guy is just kind of just, if you want to learn parrying. Oh. Uh. Which, again, you don't have to, but it makes your life a thousand times <clears throat> easier if you learn that skill. Where's He's that? just looking at you. He's just like, oh, hey. <laughs> you might want to. Get off there. Haka haka waka Oh wow, you actually took off more of his health this time. That's cool. Remember, Marcelo, aim, aim for, for the his booty. fine, fat, delicious fine ass, ass booty. Fine ass while booty. he destroys the place. Fine ass booty. Fine I mean, ass look booty. at that ass. Isn't that like the biggest, fattest ass you have ever seen? It's, it's just it's so, so delicious. Fabulous. He's gonna. Yep. I knew oh wow. <laughs> you might want to heal up. Dude, you're so fucking fat. What is going on here? Well, he is the asylum demon. All he uh, eats are dead people. This makes it go way slower. Oh god. Anyway, hit Aim his butt. Body. Aim for that ace. Oh, oh Not no. for his dick region. That's gonna get you killed. You don't want to <laughs> hit the front of him? Because, oh. Oh shit. <laughs> you, he, you might want to dodge there. Well, You can go ahead and heal again. So there's so much Before I can do. There's only so much I can do because I'm going slow as fucking molasses. All in Z-targeting mode. We're using up all my fucking flasks. This is... Don't go to the fucking front, you idiot. You might want to heal up one more time. There's no time. Need... Oh no, get get out of there! Get out of there! Uh, no. You might want to heal. Come on, asshole. I'm just gonna go for all fucking game. It's probably not the best thing, but whatever. Actually, that was the best thing, because you killed him. Oh. Yay! Marcelo finally did it! You defeated. Is that really oh, yeah. <laughs> nice grammar game. Well, it is made by a Japanese company. They... There's no excuse. Look at Mario games. They've got full on dialogue text. So, this game is great. Don't worry, the games get better, grammatically better as the games go on. Oh, well, you can turn around. Well, what the fuck is left to do here? There's nothing left to do here. You beat the area. Yeah, so... No. You go... No. You don't... You're going back into oh the area. Oh, my God. There's giant... The conveyance right in there. this game... Okay, so the one that I was oh, supposed to go Oh, don't forget to pick into. up your souls. Because that's your currency. And you don't want to lose those. Because then, if you lose those... Mm. No, no. Mm. Yeah. You've recovered. No, don't fucking... Oh, my God. Stop it's, pressing square. It's piss Square is all I know <laughs> to attack. Why the fucking R1? <laughs> Stupid. That's how this game is. Okay, so the big door that I can go in, I'm assuming I can go in. Yes, that's okay. the big pilgrim's key. Cool. That allows you to open that door. So now you can just head up what to that top the there. Fuck? What is over here? Oh, boy. Is that snow? Or is it snow? That's snow, yeah. You're on top of a mountain. Can I jump off? <laughs> well, no, you're just gonna you're just gonna reach um, that certain point. Can I oh. I was like, wait, are we actually gonna jump off? No, 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 no. I wish. That'd be cool. Well anyway, now Jonas is contemplating no, that'd be too fun. his life. I'm contemplating mine, you know. 
for the fuck are we playing this? Yeah, Who the fuck thought this was a great idea? Uh, oh no! It's no, no, bird. it's okay. That that bird's there to take you. To take you to the rest of the game. Oh, this is like some Sonic 6 ass shit going on here. With that eagle. Well, it's not an eagle, it's a crow. No, I'm saying with the e In Sonic 6, it's an eagle. Anyway. Well, anyway, now we're heading to Lordran. Oh, I thought that <laughs> I thought <it> said loading. <laughs> <laughs> I saw for like a brief second like loading. Okay, well, it cool. is loading, but we're heading to Lordran. Okay. To play the rest of the game. I'm sorry. When it comes to like fantasy games, there's certain ones I'm really into, but this kind of stuff I just never had an appreciation for. I mean, with the whole wide scope and scale of what you can do and how you explore and what there is that it can offer, I guess I can see why people are attracted to it, but I just never got into these kinds of games. Like I've never seen Lord of the Rings. I've never, you know. Oh. I, I'm oh. Not well, a big anyway. Zelda fan. Well, anyway. Now, Lordran, level up and kindle that bonfire. So press X. Now you can level up. Oh, level boy. up your guy. So, uh, go ahead and choose some stats. Vitality, uh, eh. Vitality raises your health bar. Uh, your attunement. Health bar. Health bar. <laughs> attunement is for spells. Like if you have higher attunement, you can hold like. Like, let's say you have 40, you have 5 spells that you can use Attunement, instead of, like, 2. Endurance, strength, endurance is to kind of do more attacks. Resistance. Strength is more strength-based weapons. Dexterity yeah. is more uh, skill-based weapons. Now, I play strength characters, but you went with, the. Um, let's just stick with, the. Um, I feel like Vitality is an important one. Yeah. How many points or whatever the fuck do I have that I can use for this? You have 3. Oh. Uh. So, we're going to go with Vitality and Endurance. And probably probably dexterity. Oh, uh, we can we don't have to mess with that right now. Yeah. Now resistance kind of helps is a stat that kind of helps you with poisons and all that. I believe. Mm. I don't even know. I don't know when and resistance does, because it's the only one in that game. <laughs> intelligence, you know, fucking. Well, intelligence allows you to use spells, yeah. which are basically the blue. If it's blue, it's probably a spell. All right. And then yellow is faith. And then pyromancy. The cool thing about pyromancy is you don't really have to know any of that stuff, or intelligence or faith. But with some of the more complex pyromancies, you kind of have to do have both intelligence and faith to use pyromancy to use fire. Well, anyway, uh, you have one more level, so yeah, I would yeah. suggest going to vitality. That's what okay. I would suggest. Yeah, just to kind of get you up there, and then yes. just press accept. Yeah. Um. Well then, okay, so... Alrighty, and then, uh... That just happened. Go to your menu. You might have some... You might have some stuff. You have one humanity. Go ahead and pop that humanity. What do I do? Oh, you have to... Or actually, don't use it yet. Well, actually, just use it. So, X. Yeah. Because I'm hitting that, nothing's happening. Oh, no, 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 you're, you're equipping it. But anyway, go go press circle, and then uh, move down on the D-pad. Oh, press circle first to get out of the menu. Uh, fuck. There, we there we are. Now pop that humanity. About what? Press square. And now look at Jonas. Oh no. Okay. Now you have to. Now you have to go to the bonfire. Press the bonfire and then reverse hollowing. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, you wait, press wait, wait, leave. Uh, yeah. oh. Alright. Because it does that thing. It does the thing where you can, like. Uh... Yes. Uh, sure, why not? Because apparently I have to do that? Am I going to become not like a. Okay, I was going to say. And now he took. Jonas took I'm his fabulous. meds. It's about time. <laughs> yeah, so the way to get um, your humanity back, in which case, if you're human, I think you take less damage. Yay, I'm fabulous now. So, yeah, now you're fabulous. Let's go and see. And then make sure you keep those humanities. You got three more. So if you pop those, and it depends on how many humanities you have. Like, let's say you had, like, the highest amount. The highest amount is, like, 99. You get a better resistance to damage. However, if you go hollow, you could lose them all. And then those help you reinforce the bonfire. So see how you have 10 Estus flasks now? Mm hmm Um... Later on in the game, like, like and when you start out a bonfire, it only gives you five. But if you kindle it with a, if you kindle it with a humanity, you get ten. 
And it goes up to 20, but you're not able to get 20 until later on in the game. I'm just going to nod to indicate I have no <laughs> idea what you're saying, but I'm pretty sure it's going to You'll gonna, get it. It's going to come into it. play eventually. So it maybe. will come into play. So <laughs> it's another mental note that you have to make. In the meantime, there's water. Yes. <laughs> Back before they made water look as good as possible. So I'm just trying to see what I can see. I want to see where to go next because there's no indication of anything. So I believe I'm in, well, I'm in some kind of area for sure. Hi, guys. Forgot <laughs> immediately. <laughs> fucking immediately forgot. Oh, God. I hate Dude. that it's not fucking square, which every other game oh. ever, even not a platformer, has. I should have said you might not want to go into that area yet. <laughs> Maybe if it's something. Okay, I wasn't you know how to do. know how most games say they're open world. Mm -hmm. This is an open world. Mm -hmm. You just entered into an area that you're very under level for. Mm -hmm. So I would just just not going there just yet. Mm -hmm. And now if you take a look at Jonas, out of that most recent defeat, he's he's back on the drugs. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, don't waste your humanity here yet. So should I stay? All deathly. Yeah, for right now, since you went over there, you might want to talk to that nice. Where the fuck were you? I didn't see you. <laughs> he was always. He's always there. Are you there. serious? You must be a new arrival, fate of the undead. Well, you're not the first, but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum, but it's too late now. Since you're here, let me help you out. Two bells of awakening, one's up above, and the undead church. Wasn't that kind of where I was going anyway? Yeah, you're going to the oh, okay, undead well, church to ring just, those bells. Let's go do that then. All right. And anyway, don't head up there. Because there's nothing there for you right now. Well, isn't that what you just said? I was going in the right spot. I was going well, there. no, I never said you were going in the right spot. I'm just letting you explore. Well, anyway, there's more areas. Well, not, well, I mean, at the same time, I need to know where I'm going to progress with the fucking game. Okay. Well, down there... At least point me in the right direction. You want to go down there. Well, the thing with Firelink Shrine, and this is kind of the thing with Dark Souls that none of the other games have, everything kind of loops around at this spot. At least the first half of the game really does loop around this spot. Okay. It serves as your central hub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, what you're doing is you're going down to New Londo, and you don't want to go down there yet, because you don't have the right stuff. Again, you're underleveled. So, so, so everywhere I'm... God damn it. So, you want to go up? I love how, like, th like two minutes ago you said, yeah, go down there. And then you're like, well, you can't go down there. Well, you can go down there, it's just that you're underleveled. So and where is the right space for me to go for my level, Wes? <laughs> That's where I want to head to. I thought to. you didn't want me to spoil anything for well, you. Well, no, there, there's a, there, no, there's a, there's... Right there. A difference between spoiling... You want to go up there. ...events and, like, actually just at least aiming me in the right direction. You want to go up there. And, uh... This dude you're said gonna... ring two bells or ring two... There's two areas. Yes. That's what he was saying right now. You have to head up first before you can go hey, down. Look, I remember this time. It's fucking R1. Uh, enemies... Don't forget to lock on an enemies. Yeah. Um, I've been set aflame by this man. Not by that man, by a man above you. Oh, well, let's go find him then. Hold on. Well, anyway, what the game is teaching you is the game's teaching you that enemies are going to be around, so you have to be observant. I didn't even see them until they popped out of nowhere. So, I mean. Well, you can see them from up above. If you looked up, you would see the guy. Well, that's, that's what I mean. Fireballs. That's what I mean. With the way. The level of, of detail and distinguishable like features, there almost is none because they just kind of I, they just I didn't see them. They blend in. Now look, like look at this, look at this guy. They put him in blue because everything else is green and brown. So he immediately and there's orange. So you're immediately drawn to this because it's your focal point. But yeah. then at the same time he's right here because he contrasts with everything else in the composition. So that makes sense. Yeah. That's what I mean. There needs to be more of that because everything else is just like muddy colors. I didn't see those guys because they're a darker color than everything else. Well, yeah, because they're hiding from you. You're you're supposed to keep a careful look on them because they do kind of they're kind of they're lighter color than the scenery, but you have to be observant about enemy placement and where they're spaced. Don't forget to grab your souls because so we've got a guy here. You see this guy up here. So then yeah. he drops down. Can no. I just not fight them? Oh, here's this guy. He's the guy throwing the fucking shit. Well, you you don't have to, but I would recommend you just fight them just to kind of get used to combat. He's gonna. Uh, these oh guys God, are kind of like so a... many. But the thing about that is they're easy to kill. They only take like one or two swings to kill. Except for the guy with the metal shield. 
Yeah, he was down there somewhere, I think. Yeah, and then don't forget to heal up. Yeah. Oh, what a skinny-ass pathway. Well, it's not... Well, it, it gets skinnier. No, fucking <laughs> hell. Fucking, well, and let me some... You're full, full. health now. Yeah. There, there, it's a, there's a... Press X. That always kind of annoys me. It was just like, okay, you picked up... You picked up it. Oh, hi. I mean, if you want to talk about complex fighting systems, uh, freaking oh, you're what? poisoned. That's cool. Yeah, um, you're gonna to be do. poisoned in a while. You don't have any poison loss. So I'm so just gonna slowly die a painful death, I'm assuming. Oh, if you heal, but that's probably gonna waste two of your healing items. Let's do one for right now. Let's okay, that's a soul. Get. That gives you currency. So you can level up. Mm. What is going on here? Let me just see. There's just... Yeah. There's gonna be lots. There's nothing from this side. Which means you can open it later. So, again, the game... The game... This game is very observant-based. You have to be really observant about how things are. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So, we're out... Okay, tune in next time. Uh, we're outside. Oh. Oh, God. Hi. Oh, shit! Anyway, tune in next time. Well, will Marcelo... Will, oh.